Hi, I'm Catherine Fulvio and this is my farmhouse kitchen. In this video, I want to show you how to make the most delicious lemon and garlic infused lamb chops on a bed of cannellini beans with spinach. Here's how you make it. So to make our marinade, we need some nice flavors here. So we have some lemon juice, we have some lovely local rapeseed oil, we have some nice garlic, a nice bit of rosemary, lemon zest, honey, give that a nice mix. Very nice. I'm going to go with a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Some nice pinch of salt. We can season the lamb again later. Just a little bit of salt at this stage and a little bit of black pepper as well. There we go. Very, very nice. This here is our lovely lamb. So these are beautiful French trimmed lamb chops, Wicklow lamb, all the way from our local butcher down in Ashford. So we're here in the village of Kennedy, and this is from our local butcher. And we just pour over our beautiful lemon garlic mix. If you're okay using your hands, have clean hands here, it's really nice just to massage those lovely flavours into the lamb. See that? Just get a nice mix around. There we go. Make sure it gets a chance to soak. This is a short marinade. It literally goes into the fridge for 30 minutes just for those flavours just to blend together. Then we can pan fry them off. So, off the fridge for 30 minutes, but first I need to wash my hands. So, here's the lamb 30 minutes later. And it's a good idea just to pat it dry. It makes it that little bit easier to get a bit of colour on it when you're frying the lamb. You just pat dry that side first. And now hob on to get a nice bit of heat on the pan. So I'm using induction, so a really, really fast bit of heat. I hand over it, not ready yet. But as soon as I feel a bit of heat, I'm actually going to just pour the oil in then. So just give it a bit of time. I never put the oil in too early. The next thing you end up with smoke everywhere. So pan heat it first, then oil. That's my hot tip today. Here goes our oil. And then you watch for the swirl in the oil. So well, first of all, you can always swirl it around in the pan. But what you're looking for is a bit of movement in the oil. Now grab your tongs here, pick up your meat, and pop it into the pan, and there's your sizzle. This is what you're looking for. A nice bit of sizzle. And we can dry the top side when they're in the pan. And we'll pat dry. And another little bit of seasoning. A bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. So what I want to do now is I want to colour the lamb on one side, colour it on the other side, turn the heat down and then just let it cook to the required done. So if you want them well done, just leave them on for maybe a good 10 minutes. But me, I like my medium rare. I'm just going to watch them like a hawk. But I can also get on to making my cannellini beans when I turn them over. Let's have a look now and see. So let's have a look at these now and see. Oh yes, look at that lovely colour. Definitely time to turn over. Get that heat down a little bit. That induction is very hot. Now for the cannellini beans. All we need to do is get our saucepan off, heat the saucepan. Bit of heat in there, bit of oil. Now, what flavours do I want with the cannellini beans? Well, I put in some of my favourites. I've got cumin and coriander because I always love that combination. I've got a little bit of chilli, garlic, and then I'm going to put in my beans and finish with some spinach. It's really, really easy to do. So we get a little bit of oil in. And we can get our spices in then. And just get the spices warmed up in the oil. See, the hot oil just brings out the aromatics. Smells foul. Okay, now we can go with the garlic. Garlic's already been chopped. It's not giving up easy. There we go. Out. And chilli. 
So you've got to watch with your spices that they don't burn to get your heat down. It smells like popcorn now, right? And then go to the pan of a little bit of cumin, a little bit of coriander, the garlic, the chilli, it just is a lovely way to add flavour to the cannellini beans. Now you simply just heat those through, so they're nearly done. Give them a minute or two and let's check our lamb. Lovely. Come very nicely. So now the lamb is done, we can take it out and just leave it for a few minutes to rest. It looks fabulous. Really happy with this. Gorgeous colour on it. And you can also do these in the oven, but I like to brown them in the pan first. So, sit those here. Let's get this off the heat. Get the heat off here. Right, that's that one done. Now, next thing. Oh, a good tidy up at this point I think is always good. Let's pop these out of our way. Get our serving plate in. Spinach goes in. Now the spinach literally just melts in. Give it a nice stir. Let that spinach soften down. There we go. Look at that. Smells divine. And the only thing we need to do is still season. It's all just great because it just draws out that lovely flavour. A bit of pepper. There we go. There and there. Just wilting down that spinach. And there it is. Heat off. And now we can serve up. I'm just going to put this on one big platter. This is a lovely meal for two. It is gorgeous. Okay, now let's get our chops on. So we just put these round. Da, da, da. Fabulous. Delighted with this. Get this out of the way. And have some lemon zest. I'm just going to put some lemon zest over the top because I just think it's going to lift it really nice, lovely for colour. Lovely for flavour, and let's not forget, we need some rosemary, because we had that earlier, for flavour. So this here is my lemon and garlic infused lamb chops on a bed of cannellini beans with spinach. You are going to love it. So subscribe here for lots more of these recipes, or head over to my website, catherinefulvia.com, for my online cookery courses.